This is a tutorial about setting up a simple contact form in Convertry. Inserting a contact form on your page lets you collect essential information such as names and email addresses, as well as extras like shipping addresses, websites and more. Once you publish your page, whenever someone fills out and submits your form, the information they have entered will be sent inside an email message to your inbox. If you're ready, let's get started. So first of all, we'll configure the form. This sets up the behind the scenes magic that makes form submissions work. In the page builder, click on forms in the top toolbar. Then click on email in the left hand menu and toggle email notifications to on. Don't forget to add your email address if it's not there. Edit the subject line if you need, and email notifications will be sent from support at convertrynotifications.com, so be sure to add that to your VIP or contacts list. Next, click on the thank you page in the left hand menu. Enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click submit. This could be your thank you page, upsell page, main website, or anything else. Please note, alternatively, you can toggle stay on page to on. This means that the form will be submitted, but the user won't see a confirmation. In this case, it's a great idea to add a pop-up layer to let your prospect know that the form has been submitted successfully. Then click Done. Next, we just need to add the form to our page. This means adding form fields for each type of information you want to collect and mapping them to help Convertry deliver information to you. Click on Form Elements in the Elements tray. And first of all, drag a text input onto your page. With your text input element selected, click on Form Field Settings in its Properties panel. Then choose the field type from the drop down menu according to what information you want entered here. For example, if you want this box to be for email addresses, click on Email. Toggle the required switch if you don't want users to be able to submit the form without entering this information. You can also choose to use form field validation to make sure the information entered is in the proper email format. Next, click on the arrow to go back to the main properties panel menu and click input properties. Here you can enter placeholder text to let users know what information to enter and help you remember which form element is which. Next, drag over more form inputs from the elements tray to complete your form. Build your form to collect as much information as you need, including first, middle, last and full names, phone numbers and more. Don't forget to add a submit button as well. Remember, you need to map every form field input to its field type in the properties panel. And of course, when you're done, don't forget to save and publish your page. Click on view to open your page in a new tab and try sending yourself a test response. You'll receive an email in the inbox of the email listed as your main Convertry account every time your form is submitted. Sometimes you'll want to collect feedback, job quotes, or just people's favorite color. To create your own custom field, all you need to do is choose a form field type that isn't being used, such as full name. Then set the placeholder text to which information you want the user to enter. When you receive your form submission notification email, your custom information will be listed under the form field type you've used. You'll be able to tell by what's written. If you've got more than one form entry field on your page with the same type, Convertry will send the one that has the most data in it. So if you're using an API, you can have multiple forms on your page all attached to the same list, and Convertry will always send the data from the one that's been filled in. If you have an agency account, you can send a contact email to your client's email address, but they must be listed as a user on the sub-account that contains the page that you want to set the contact form up on. In the email section of the forms dialog, 
click to let your client receive form responses. You'll be taken to the client's screen where you'll see a confirmation message letting you know your client will receive form responses. Click on the button to toggle form responses back to you. If you want to make your notification emails text only, click on account in the dashboard. Then head to profile settings in the left hand menu. Then toggle text only form notifications to on.